Today, we're going to cover how I can press snare bottom with an SSL channel strip plugin. Like and subscribe because there's new videos every week. Mix. Okay, so snare bottom. This is a fun one. I love doing this, especially in like rock or punk. Really, really helpful. What we're going to do is set fast attack and we're going to set like a 10 to 1 high ratio and bring the threshold down until we start compressing the kick drum. So that sounds really, really noisy and a bit weird, right? But what it's doing is it's adding a load of consistency to the snare performance without us having to kill the snare top mic. It's also bringing all of the ghost notes up. So when someone's gonna do a build, the drummer's gonna do a build in a section or whatever, you're gonna get all of that articulation, all of that detail. Also, a snare bottom mic is a really, really good place to find beta information on your kick. I don't know why, but it just is. So let's dial in the release time. I'm going to make it as fast as possible, and you'll notice it's going to be really, really pumpy, and I'm just going to slow it down until it feels quite musical. Nice. If that's a bit too noisy for you, you could combine it with an expander or you could just use a lower ratio and a bit of a higher threshold so you get less compression. It'll still help bring those ghost notes out with the faster attack. Let's do a quick before and after. So here we have before compression. After. Before. after. It's adding a lot of punch, it's adding a lot of snap. Well good. I also use bus compression and parallel compression all over my drums, so you might want to check out some of my other videos for that. Like and subscribe, I do new videos every week, and if there's anything you're stuck with, let me know in the comments and I'll try and make a video about it. Shred Gnar.